got me off here. Hey guys, it's Shadow. This is going to be my first video in a while. I need to get back into a regular recording schedule. Okay. Today, taking on one of the, um, probably the hardest hitting conspiracy, one of the hardest hitting conspiracies there is. Probably also the most famous, the Illuminati. I'm not a member of the Illuminati. I'm not. I promise. But, um, you know, I have to think, what is the Illuminati? The Illuminati, I have it right here on my research station. Okay. The Illuminati, and this is very important that you realize this, Give it a second. I have to say, um, this topic was suggested by my friend Nicholas, who has suggested a topic before. I think he suggested two. So, um, thanks to him. And I'm probably going to upload some more. Probably some more Dust 514 videos. I know y'all are sick of those. Cause those were weird. I know. But I like the game. Okay. The Illuminati. Let me get some stuff done here. Original Illuminati, the real Illuminati that we, the only one that we know for a fact existed in history, was the Bavarian Illuminati. They were a secret society from the Enlightenment age, founded in 1776. They wanted to get rid of superstition, pre and they wanted to get rid of superstition, prejudice. Religious influence, abuse of state power, they supported women's education, gender equality. So, you see, it, it seems like they had some pretty good goals. But here's the thing. All of these things were against what was happening, what was happening in Europe in the, at the time. So they were outlawed by the Bavarian rule by the Prince Elector of Bavaria on the order on basically the orders of the Catholic Church. Permanently disbanded in 1785. And but still some people said that they actually remained or regrouped and were responsible for causing the French Revolution. Nowadays they are thought to be the secret society that will start the New World Order. And it's said that they have agents in every government and banking institution and major corporation in the world. And that they've masterminded such plots as 9-11 and Prophet Benghazi and all these terrible attacks on freedom. that we know for fact existed was a Bavarian Illuminati and they had pretty obvious goals. But we do know that the um, order was made up of free thinkers. If you don't know what that is, um, look it up. It's pretty weird. But now... There are 
so many organizations that claim to be descended from the Illuminati now, from the original Bavarian Illuminati now. There's the Ordo Templi Orientis. They have Illuminati as a level within their um, hierarchy. But there's no evidence to support the fact that these groups have any significant, pow significant power in the world. And they use these unsan unsubstanti unsubstantiated links to the original Illuminati as a way to get people to join. And then we get to this point. So many... Okay. So many people believe the Illuminati still exists today and are trying to cause a new world order. When historically there's no evidence to support that the Illuminati lasted after they were disbanded. Had they regrouped, they would have been executed. Okay. And every single president of the United States, since this conspiracy theory has popped up, every U.S. president has been thought of as a member of the Illuminati. And a lot of famous people are, too. And a lot of people say that the Illuminati caused the Battle of Waterloo, the French Revolution, French Revolution, um, JFK's assassination, a, a communist plot to start the New World Order by taking over Hollywood. And some people say that the Illuminati observe satanic rituals. Which doesn't make any sense because the Illuminati were a free-thinking organization. And back then, as it does now, free-thinking generally tends to me an atheist. They wouldn't have been satanic. So, a lot of these claims have no foundation. So they're really just kind of dumb. But I could cancel my entire argument. Not cancel. I could. I could. Um. What's the word for? Yeah, I could pretty much negate the entire effect of my previous argument. For Christians, at least. Christians like me, who have heard of the Illuminati. The Illuminati does have a basis from a biblical, from a biblical perspective. Because there's many, many end-time Bible proph prophecies and revelations, well, especially in Revelations, but all throughout it, that speak of a one-world government, a one-world monetary system, and a one-world religion being controlled by the Antichrist, who could rule, who is said to rule through ten kings, or was it twelve? Ten or twelve. And the beast, and the serpent. Which could mean the Illuminati. Don't panic. Think about it. If that's happening, then God has allowed it. And it's all part of the plan. He's in control. And they will end it. And he, he will end it, not them. So that's, look, the basis that could be. But really, other than these conspiracy theories and the possible biblical, biblical basis, there isn't a solid one. The things described in Revelations could be real and they could be literal. Lots of things like that in the Bible are or were when they happened. 
Besides those things, there is no basis for the existence of the Illuminati. Not anymore. some more stuff. Some people say the Illuminati exists today to fight Christian fundamentalism, which was in turn created to fight the Enlightenment. You know, secular humanism, modernism, liberalism. Yay, liberalism. This was all channeled, these Illuminati conspiracies were all channeled through the right wing of the US, of U.S. politics. And a lot of them, collegiate fraternities, gentlemen's clubs, think tanks, they all said they're part of the Illuminati. I don't get where they have a basis for this. This all seems like they pulled it out of their butts. <laughs> I'm serious. Because we have no historical evidence of it. And until we have evidence, nothing is going to be proven. And still, even with some evidence, it's still not proven. Because one must remember, no matter how much proof you provide, how much evidence you have to the existence of something. Evidence is subjective. It is completely subjective. And is therefore well subject to it's not I screwed up. <laughs> okay, evidence is not subjective. It, it can be sometimes. But people are subjective. We're not a Humans are not objective creatures. We think subjectively. We have our own opinions that differ from other people. And we don't look at logic all the time. And thus, no matter how much evidence you provide for something... I just got off the top of my own argument again. Okay, but evidence is subject to personal perspective. That's what I'm trying to say. Is that evidence is always going to be, is always going to be subject to personal perspective. No matter how much much of it you provide to prove something, people don't have to believe it because it is subject to personal perspective. And people will believe what they want to believe. That is how humans are hardwired. So you can't make somebody believe something. But um, that's about the end of that. But, um, now let's go to something a little bit happier. I'm back, and I want to do something for y'all. I want to start a new series, but I'm not sure what it is, so I need suggestions down in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe, it's right there. It's, um, right there the video above the comments, and if you want, rate this video. Doesn't really matter to me. But um, also in the comments, leave down your thoughts on this and leave down suggestions for next episode. But uh, yeah, your thoughts are very important to me. I would love to hear your thoughts, and they may be addressed in the next episode. So I'll walk towards the thing now. Oh yeah. Leave suggestions for the new series idea. Peace out, guys.